PG Masta. He's been playing this game for like a very long time, like years and years and years and years. Loves Dr. Mario. Loves Dr. Mario, hasn't played any other character. Juan Diego El Futuro. Del Futuro? I, I'm, I'm very uncultured. I am an uncultured swine. And they're playing Grab the Coins. So anyway, okay, this is just a hand warmer. Yep. Juan Diego, on, here on your left, Game and plays no Game and Watch. Game and Watch. And he doesn't like having a shield, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Don't get me wrong. This guy is not some new player. This guy is an actual Game and Watch player. Weird, really? right? Because yeah. you, you never see that no. ever, ever, not ever, ever. These are like two characters that are dead. These are dead characters. You will never see these characters. They in will like, not. They will not win a national. First off, you will not. Not only that, you will not see Doctor Mario or Game and Watch in top eight ever again in your life. Perhaps the last time you will ever probably see was uh was Evo. Shroom. Was Evo. When, what first, happened at Evo? The first Evo, when he made top eight with against uh, the first Evo back when Mango won. Um, he made 2013? Yeah, was it 20? Yeah, it was 2013 then. Yeah, he when made top eight with. Shroomed, did it? Yeah, he made top eight with Dr. Mario. I don't remember. I, I, I very, I remember. Well, I mean, I so. trust that you remember. You're like a Dr. Mario guy or something. Oh, no, nah, it's just, I just remember stuff like stupid stuff like that. I mean, I don't know, stupid you may say, but uh, Shroomed is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's awesome. Yeah, Shroomed. Shout out to that guy being a really cool guy. But. On our turf, we have the Dr. Mario Specialist, who has not dropped the character, who has the same love for the character, and plays his heart out with that character. Oh yeah. Despite if the character is not in the meta, despite if the character holds it back, whatever. Ooh, that was cute. You saw the parachute being a huge disjoint, uh, actually killed the- oh my god, this is funny. Cause like, he keeps shooting pills, and Juan Diego, using Game Watches, Crazy disjoints on his aerials, oh, yeah. just like knocking out these pills. It's wow! Hilarious. So this match actually this. seems kind of obnoxious. The fact that yeah. Wendy Oak can just yeah, so completely wall so, out. Okay, Dr. imagine Mario. this. Imagine this. For those of you who played any of the Mario characters versus Mark, think about that. But tiny. Uh, yeah, just just like a less effective Marth, but with scarier aerial kill. Because he's got this nair that kills you. Straight up kills you. Oh, if yeah. it doesn't kill you, it's going to give you. Because you're a Mario. You know? <laughs> you're one of the Mario bros. You have it's, it. it's brutal. Look at this fair. Look at this absolutely disgusting fair. And, oh, man. Good here recovery. we go. So That's v it. Yeah, VG Master, he's like, well, I got to throw something out here. VG Master might need to analyze really hard this first few stocks. Because yeah, I'm, if, I'm, he's, if he's definitely unsure of a matchup like this, then a player of the special specialization of Juan Diego will definitely just obliterate. Oh, yeah. Like, this is definitely one of those, like, if you don't know this matchup, yeah. oh, all right, great. Ooh, that was nice. Great confirm so, off the pill. Yeah, that was super good reaction. Now, check this out, right? Game & Watch is the second lightest character in the game. Second lightest really? to Pichu, yes. However, not only that, which makes him really easy to kill, he's also, like, a just slightly faster than average faller. Like, okay. just barely not floaty. Like, he falls super average. Okay. Those two, uh... Those two properties make him really easy to combo and at the same time really easy to kill. Which is one of the biggest flaws about Game & Watch. Uh, he also like lacks a shield, he also lacks a tech roll that uh, is really easy to trick people with because it's very slow. His normal roll is also very slow, he doesn't have a spot touch. Um, there are just a lot of these defensive properties Game & Watch completely lacks, they're just missing. However, on the other hand, you can see where they were going when they were developing this character. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, he's got crazy disjoints, really cool combos, you know, a lot of really strong smash attacks. His aerials are his aerials are crazy strong, crazy good, all that jazz. And like offensively, he's a monster. So like, as long as you don't get in a situation where you have to shield, like on paper, Game of Watch can compete. I mean, you know, on on paper, that's. Yeah. It's always different on paper, but... Oh, yeah, got theory crafting. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, is, like, Game & Watch, in a perfect world, can definitely compete, oh, so because... Don't jump for VG Master. Oh, he's try the trying to up me into the bacon. bacon. Yeah, that would have been funny. Uh, but I think Dr. Mario's up would just go through the bacon. Would if it? I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Mistaken about bacon. Anyway. So... And goes for the chair on the second place, which is a very lingering hitbox. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay, this is getting a little predictable. Oh, but he goes for the ledge cancel with the down air and gets caped because Dr. Mario's cape hitbox is huge, way bigger than really? Mario's. Yeah. That one is... Okay. And it lasts a lot longer, too. Which makes it a lot better for Gipping. Good, uh, good shield drop up there. Man, that, that straight up would have almost killed him from center stage. And it did kill him from yep. center stage because he held ledge. Very, very he was below 100, and that almost killed him from center stage. Dr. Mario's down smash. It's crazy <laughs> how light that character He's is. He's gotten a lot of uh, a lot of mileage out of Dude, that. Just I love set. I love the ledge cancels from uh, Juan Diego's Oh, uh, and that's aerials. dead. dead yeah, that was super nice. That's was... such a scary down tilt, too. Oh, yeah. It gives him Does a, it go under the ledge also? 
slightly. Huh? Juan Diego won that. It slightly goes under the ledge. Okay. It's it gives him a crouch cancel option, which mm -hmm. is kind of scary to approach him at low percents mm -hmm. if you're not a character like Falco or Captain Falcon, mm -hmm. stuff like that. Like there are a lot of tricks to this character that you have to. What I pr definitely appreciated, and I do like this pick from uh, VG Master, oh, yeah. was the first game. Uh, Juan Diego was aptly moving around the battlefield with crazy good uh, well-timed ledge canceled aerials. This is especially a big deal with Game Watch because three of his aerials you actually cannot L cancel. Really? Because, yes, because the game, no other character has this flaw, but Game Watch can only L cancel his forward air and his down air. That is the, the concrete box and the key because all his other aerials, his other three aerials, are coded as special moves. What? I don't wow. know why. Wow. Shout out to Sakurai. It's, it's a mystery, but it is what it is. So, okay. That's that's why it's better to auto-cancel that, that nair, or just end the animation, rather, before you hit the ground. Which is not a bad idea, because it's so big and it's so hard to challenge yeah. from above that you can afford to make uh, risks like that. Wow. All right. Yeah. So, another, uh -huh. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was going to say that just, you know, Back in the match, I mean, this VG Master is having a very, very hard time closing yeah. out stocks. No, I agree. He can't, I agree. He can't approach at this all, is, it seems almost. Yeah, especially if if uh, you're not accustomed to Game of Watch's up B height. It's so. Ooh, that was nice. It just goes you through the Saw how hard that hit? Like, yeah. yeah. Game of Watch being actually two dimensional. Like, literally two dimensional. <laughs> He's actually thin as paper. Probably thinner. I, don't, I forget <laughs> what that's called in the old handheld games. The. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't even know exactly. Like the the, the uh, like cal old calculators, like the the black markings that make up the numbers. Anyway, that's what Game Watch is made out of. Takes a pill, not very good look. Bam, TBH, SMH. Yeah. But this is a uh, this isn't bad for. Oh, okay, I was that was say. perfect. I, I was actually about to say like this, is, this, so this isn't good. bad for VG Master because you know he was actually dude. You know, crouch canceled the pill, took no hit stun, wave dash back, F uh, F air on the approach from ledge. That was just flawless. So Ooh. fair, fair down tilt seems to be it. Down tilt is so annoying because it's like that. That was also a spectacular DI by one day. Down tilt is so annoying. Oh, oh, the cape clutch, clutch, clutch. The VG Master disrespect cape. Now, that is something I want to see VG Master using more because Game and Watch, uh, he just has such a hard time. Even for a Game and Watch main who's been playing the character for years and years, it's really difficult to avoid Dr. Mario's cape when you're up being in sweet spotting ledge because it goes a little bit under the ledge. Mm -hmm. Oh so yeah. So really, it's just gonna it's gonna like mess you up. Like regardless if you sweet spot or not. Good forward. Is that smash. gonna kill? Wow. Yo, sweet spot forward smash killed Doc from the bottom of FD. Bottom at center 100. of FD. <laughs> center of FD. That's nuts. See what I'm saying? Like Game Watch has crazy offensive properties. Like his moves are crazy good. It's just, uh, he's, he, that's, that's the only part the cape? of Cape? Oh, I think if he had the cape, he was fine. The, the other half of the character is a little bit, uh, not there. You get it? Because he's two-dimensional? <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. I, I, now it makes sense, There you go, right? now you got it. Now, now you got it. it makes sense. So, good stuff to VG Master, you know, being able not to take too much percent. Yeah. You know, pretty it looks like, it looks right like he's too. really, he's really uh, picking the pace up on this. He's really, uh, he, he's noticing things and it's, he's putting it to work and that's, that's what you want to see. Oh yeah, especially in, like <laughs> Cape and Watch. It's like such such a random matchup you'd never expect to fight like a crazy good Game and Watch in your life. But ooh, so okay. Funny thing about that down throw, uh, Game and Watch is so light that he doesn't bounce. He actually just hits the ground and sits there, and it's a tech chase. Oh wow! So if you're not expecting it and you're Game and Watch, he could just jab reset. You or is that something. is that at all percents or is that at just like low I'm pretty percent? sure that's a that's at most percents. And then once it gets to high percent, you might bounce. But I think for the most okay. part. All relevant percents. You, oh, that was oh, scary. Yeah, because he he, he would have started. He, he wouldn't have died, but, but he would have. It would have started something huge. Exactly, and that might close is it that out. Is that gonna be it? Yeah, that's that's so it, dude. And Ooh. that is it. Wow, Juan Diego taking a 2-0 with Game and Watch. That's a very very solid nuts. play. In a, yeah. In a, wow. In a very very weird matchup too. <laughs> very very. That, that's like a matchup you won't see for another 20 years or something. Like seriously. So the end of melee. <laughs> and melee's never dead though. Melee won't die. Really. Melee will never die. Uh, for some reason. <laughs> Kill this game, <laughs> please. <laughs> no, I love melee, but yeah, that was was crazy. Good stuff. You, you'll never see that stuff again in your life, <laughs> really. Like, where else would you see? That's I don't, see, like Doctor Mario. Juan Diego is like the only no. There's Curb, Q E R B. 